Sesame Street jackets. Your magic, white rabbit, has left its writing on the wall. We follow like Alice and just keep diving down the hole. Welcome back, Ravers, to another episode of Great Me, and we have the second box of Loot Gaming that is out. Um, so without further ado, let's get right on in it. this bad boy open. It does look like it was open, but it's not, I assure you. The tape this time just was a little messed up. You can see it's still solid, so no peeking from my end. Cut that open. Sorry about the brace, by the way. So I'm not going to be able to hold things properly. Just a little awkward, maybe. So, let's actually slide this slightly off camera. So, again, right off the top, we have a t-shirt. I'm not really sure. I don't even really know what the, um, yeah, the theme was for this month. I kind of have been keeping myself in the dark on what themes are so that I don't kind of get hints to what things are. But, um, we have Hope attacking me. Hope, stop attacking me. We have a pretty awesome t-shirt. Let me get it completely in the frame for you guys. Uh, it is a Bioshock 2 t-shirt. So that is actually pretty awesome. Now, I haven't actually played any of the Bioshock games, um, but I am actually interested in playing. I just haven't gotten around to it. There's so many games out there to play, but this is definitely something that is awesome. The next thing I see here is uh, a hat, which is in a bag. I don't know if it opens anywhere. Let's see. Is this open? Nope. Well, looks like I'm just going to have to pry it open. Oh, such. It's plastic. Again. Ugh. Sorry about the wrist. I'm going to hide that. Okay, so it says, Stars or Raccoon Department, Police Department. It helps if I read it in order. Stars Raccoon Police Department. Let me get a up-close shot of that. That's what it is, and it's a knitted fabric. Uh, it's not that stretchy, though. If you got a big head, Hopey, go away. If you got a big head, it may not fit very well. This is the second hat I think they've done for Loot Crate, but it's no longer winter. So, stop, Hope. I'm getting attacked by the cat. It's so awkward trying to angle this, oh my gosh. But it's a nice little patch, solid patch. It's just uh, an iron-on patch, it's not sewn into it. Or if it is sewn into it, there's a second layer, so. See, I can separate that. So it could be sewn into it. I'm just unaware. Let's see if we can. There's a tag inside. Ooh, it says Loot Crate on the tag inside. So that is pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure what this is, actually. Um, all you guys that know what it is probably wants to kill me because I don't know what it is. Uh, let's grab. I guess this is the next available thing. Something from The Division. It's a metal tin box. I hope I'm gonna smack a you little fuzzy butt. Go away! Um, UBI Workshop, it says. Oh gosh. Is it a hinge? It is a hinge. Okay. It's a hinge box. And Hope is going to get smacked this year. Oh, there's a baby gun! That is so cool, as you can see my camera now. So, none of the parts move. It is plastic. Um, it is a complete replica. I'll try to get it to focus. Oh. My camera focus, there it goes. It has the division on it. Unless there's something hidden, which I doubt it, because it's completely plastic. And it's not really that heavy, but that is pretty awesome. 
comes in a fitted case. It's, an, it's a solid styrofoam. Doubt they have anything underneath it. Um, and I honestly don't even want to try to take it out because once I take it out, I probably won't go back in. Ow, I hit my thumb! Uh, let's see, the next thing we see here is the actual pin itself, and it's twisted as always. So, oh, it's Metro is the theme for April 2016. Come on, focus. No, you want to focus. I have to take it out. Focus. There we go. A awesome pin there. Again, it is a, it's a metal pin. This again, they've switched to the all metal pins, which I actually like that. You can get more detail and did like their orange pins, but metal pin kind of is like, you know, so it makes it a little bit more worth it. All right. So the next thing that we have is a mirror's edge catalyst. It looks like it's going to be. Oh, it is a. It's an LED watch. Um, they did send a watch uh, before for the spy. I think it was called or something like that. I don't know why there's a circle there, but it is. Yeah, it's exactly like how the spy one was, um, where you can press on it and it's digitally. So it doesn't look like it's there. And then once you press on it. It's when the time will show up on the the screen and on the the back there. My camera just does not want to focus very well. Why don't you want to focus, camera? This is Mirror's Edge up here. Let's see if I can I'll flip this around. It is a Loot Crate exclusive. There we go. Focus. I gotta like shove it right up in there. Loot crate excuse exclusive. Let's see if I can get the focus on the. All right, it doesn't want to focus on that either. It focuses after it finishes. Really? There we go. Kind of. Focuses for five seconds. This camera hates me. I swear. So that is actually pretty. My sticker thingy got stuck. <laughs> um, the next thing in here is some sort of metal something or other that I'm not really sure. Move the bag off to the side. That's a metal art print from Fallout. Let's see if I can get it. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of stuff going on in this picture, and if I tilt it, you're going to see the light. I will get pictures, as always, and put it at the end of the video, for sure. So you can get higher quality uh, images of everything that we get from the box. Um, but it is a metal tin. It's folded up in and itself, so this is a little lip. And then it comes with uh, four little holes on each of the corners. Come on, focus. Focus, damn you! There it goes. So little little uh, holes for like nails, so you can nail it to the wall on each of the corners. It's a plain backing. That's actually pretty cool. I know Spook would probably get a kick out of that. He is the, the Fallout guy. Most of my Fallout has been pretty much I'm fun. <laughs> Wanted to play the new Fallout, never got to it. So, Metro, welcome to the city. This is the, uh, what they call the game manual now, uh, which is the little booklet with all of the information inside of it. Oh, it's a Resident Evil. Oh my god, why didn't I know that? I've played Resident Evil, guys. Well, that was like years ago, but I haven't played any of the new ones. This is the Umbrella Court. Why didn't I remember that? Wow. It's a woven Resident Evil Stars logo patch. And I have no clue how to say that. Ace Tate? It sounds like I'm swearing. Focus on the Ace Tate. I have no clue what that is. 
Oh my gosh. Is there anything cool or special in this that I can share with you guys? The Division Loot Gaming exclusive weapon skin. What? Is there a code for it? Oh, I got an email with it in it. I'll have to go through all my emails. I've not been checking my emails lately. <gasps> the gun is something! <gasps> I tried pulling it apart and I felt like I was going to break it, so I stopped. It is a 16 gigabyte USB drive. Okay, so now we got to try this. Ugh. I thought I was going to break something if I pulled too hard. I got scared. I'm like, oh, oh my god, you guys, look at that. Let me put it in my hand and try to get it to focus. I'm getting used to how the camera is working at the different angles. It's the first time using this camera to record one of the unboxings. So sorry. But this is so awesome. It's the magazine clip. That is cool. I thought I was going to break it when I started pulling on it because I tried it. I was like, okay, the magazine clip should come out, if anything. So that is freaking even cooler now. I thought it was cool just to begin with, like a little display piece. But now... I just shoot people with my data. So that is awesome. I feel like such a dillweed. I don't know what the hell's in my box. Not in that box, you pervert. I knew what you were thinking. Black silicon. Uh, watch. Of course, as I'm hitting my light. So you probably hear that. Bioshock shirt. It's an original graphic Bioshock shirt. And then the pin, hand polished, silver finish. Ooh, the epic drop, which is for 20 lucky winners, would have got the Astro uh, gaming headsets. That would have been nice, but I already have my cat ears, even though I'm not really 100% happy with my cat ears. But that's okay. That's okay. They're a little damaged. I never tried the external headset. But oh well. So that is... Pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the inside of the box for the Metro. That is the inner part, and then. Ooh, I'm gonna move all the way back! Metro. Inside of the box. I love that they do the art on the inside of the box. That makes it a little bit cooler. And as always, it does flip out. I don't always unfold them because I can't. I, I'm afraid I'm going to rip them. So I have Spook do it for me. Um, but that was this month's crate. Um, if you like these videos, please do me a huge favor and give it a like. Uh, it doesn't really do anything other than let me know that, hey, I like these videos. Can you please do more of them? Let's me know that this is what you guys like to see, because uh, I like to do different things with my channel. I don't want to do just all one type of video, so I want to kind of give a variety for you guys. And this is something that I kind of picked up along the way, and thought, you know, well, let's keep doing it. I personally like the loot gaming out of all of them, but um, like I said, go ahead, give me a, a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know that you like it. Let me know that you want to see more of it. Uh, if you're new here, and this is your first video that you've seen with me, go ahead and please click that subscribe button. Um, become a raver. We want you in the family. <laughs> we welcome all. <laughs> um, but thank you again. Please join me next month for another loot gaming box. Um, and I do believe that's it. Until then, live, die, respawn. Love you, ravers. Bye! Your magic white rabbit, your white room straight jacket.